Hey gamers, welcome back to Pro Warriors. What if you could turn your Android phone into a full desktop running Windows apps, a complete Linux environment, and even console emulators like PS1, PSP, Xbox, even WinLater Bionic and more all inside one single app? That's exactly what Exodus. But here's what sets it apart. Unlike other tools like WinLater or GitHub, Exodus doesn't just emulate Windows or Linux, it also supports and runs other emulators inside it. Let me explain. Exodos is a powerful Android-based environment that lets you run real Windows and Linux apps right on your phone or tablet. It uses Wine to run Windows software and tools like Termux and Prout to simulate a full Linux system. With support for custom GPU drivers like Turnip, you also get better performance in games and apps. But that's not all. Exodus also gives you access to popular emulators like Simu, WinLater Bionic, PPSSPP, and DuckStation, turning your device into a mini PC. Whether you want to play classic PC games, use desktop software, or experiment with Linux development tools, Exodus makes it all possible right from your Android device. Let's start with the installation process. First, go to the official GitHub page, which is the main hub for downloading the emulator. Scroll down to the Releases section. It'll take you to another page. Keep scrolling until you see the assets. Download the Zotos emulator. While I'm making this video, version 5.10 is the latest one. The file is about one gigabyte, so depending on your internet speed, it might take a little while. Once the download is complete, install the app. You might get a warning that the app has a virus. It's your choice whether to continue or not, but this is just a Google Play warning because it's an unknown app not from the Play Store. And you're done, it's installed. When you launch the app again, it will ask for permissions like storage access and notifications. Grant them, and it will start downloading some system files. If the app crashes afterward, just reopen it. Before you click Start, let's tweak a few settings. Tap on Preferences, and a menu will open. You can adjust options like Resolution. Select Exact and choose the lowest resolution. Of course, it depends on your device specs. Also, enable the Enable Floating Menu option. This creates a floating icon on your screen with many helpful tools. Since regular Android buttons don't work well in this emulator, this icon becomes your main control hub. Let me explain what each floating button does. Tap the gear icon to open or close configuration settings. The top icon opens the Linux terminal, showing system info like your Android version, Xodos version, Linux kernel, and more. You can even enter commands. The monitor icon with an X closes the current desktop. The keyboard icon activates the keyboard. Tap it, then press your phone's back button to use it. To disable, just tap the icon again. The gamepad icon enables touch controls for games, just like WinLater. The graph icon opens the task manager. And yes, for those who doubted, Termux is actually running in the background. When you click Start, here you'll see the full Exodus desktop interface. It includes apps like Exodus, Kali Linux, WineGlib, WineBionic, Xbox, PS1, PSP, Bionic, Termux, Settings, AI Tools, and several others. Not all apps are working right now, but a few are performing very well, and soon all apps will be fully functional. Let's try out Exodos by simply clicking on the first Exodos icon. Once you do that, it will ask you to select a graphics wrapper. If you're using a Snapdragon device, go ahead and choose the Turnup driver. For users with MediaTek, Exynos, or Mali processors, select the Vulkan option instead. After that, you'll be prompted to choose a rendering mode based on your needs CPU for better stability, hardware for higher speed, or VGL if you want full Linux desktop compatibility. Once you've made your selections, the complete Exodus environment will launch automatically no extra tweaks needed. Here in the Start menu, you'll find all the applications and settings just like on a real Linux PC. Xodos gives you that familiar desktop experience right on your Android device. It also includes its own app store, where you can browse and install popular software such as Blender, Mozilla Firefox, and many others. Whether you need creative tools, browsers, or system utilities, the Xodos app store has a wide selection to enhance your productivity and experience. Let's try out the other emulators included in Exodos. We all know that Xbox emulators don't officially exist for Android, so if Exodos could run Xbox emulator, that would be a total game changer. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for now. But hey, no worries. Let's move on to the PS1 emulator, and yes, it's working perfectly. Next, I tested WinLater's Bionic inside Exodos, and oh wow, it actually works. Can you believe it? Now let's try PSP. And yes, PPSSPP is running smoothly right inside the Exodos environment. I absolutely love it. 
In conclusion, I'd say Exodos has great potential, but it still needs massive development and optimization to become a truly stable and reliable emulator. But the foundation is there, and it's exciting to see where it's headed. Exodus still has a few bugs and some UI-related issues, so it's not perfect just yet. I'm especially excited to see if future updates will make the Xbox emulator fully functional inside Exodos, definitely something I'll be keeping an eye on. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more emulator content and Android tips. Thanks for watching and take care.